Hi, welcome back to Shirley DIY channel. Today we'll be doing an abstract painting. And here I'm showing you the different types of paint I'm using. It's all acrylic paint. I'm using some rose gold metallic paint. I'm using three different types of white, shades of white paint. One is like an off-white, one is a pure white, and then one is a metallic white. And I'm going to use a dark gray to go around the edges. It looks almost like black, but this is a dark gray. And today we will be using, you will need Mod Pod. And you will need some tacky adhesive glue. And you will need some white fine glitter and you will need some medium size white glitter you will also need some silver foil glitter and you will need some gold foil glitter and some rose gold glitter and you will need some silver glitter fine medium and large size glitter and there is no right or wrong way in doing this painting. And the um is your emotion will come out in the painting as you paint it and you will find that out. But first you see me here painting with the metallic rose gold. And then I'ma come back with my whites and I'm gonna paint the one half of the painting, about one half of the painting is the metallic rose gold. Then you will see me paint the other part, like a white, mixing the three different textures, the color of the whites painting together. And the clear tacky glue is for when making the, putting the glitter on the white area that's been painted. And the rose, metallic rose gold paint, I use the Mod Pod for the glitter. And that four glitters is like little pieces of four. And it was, it's very flyable way. And I got it from Amazon. I got three different colors, the gold, the rose gold, and the silver. And you will see me putting that in the painting of the metallic area. Just to give it some pops or texture and more colors to flow through the painting come out. And I will paint the edges all the way around black. Just so that it doesn't look like it's just a raw painting edge instead of just white and there's no right or wrong way in painting as I was painting this portrait for my wall I was inspired by one of Z Gallery's painting and um, since my room I have is rose gold with some off whites and black and gray and my painting on my wall remind me of a golden color paint so that's what inspired me to use the colors that I use in this painting and while I was painting I realized that it was so relaxing I really enjoyed it it's like took all the stress away. Like if you were stressing and you went to paint, paint it relieves it. And uh, it made me feel, I felt real good. And it took me um, weeks to finish the painting because I didn't do it every day, but I do a little bit here and there. But as you see me doing the base most part, like the painting, painting itself, I completed that pretty much in like, two days two or three days but I went back and did different things to it and and add to it and took and changed things 
as I was feeling that day, what I felt, I did it. Which all everything you do in a painting, at at the, when you get the finished result, is resulting from what you did as you went on painting each day or week, uh, two weeks a month, how long long it takes you to do the painting, and you come up with the finishing result, which is a is a u- unique painting. And when I say unique, because when you painting something, it's your spiritual journey. It's your emotions and feelings coming out in that painting. And each day you feel different ways and that comes out in your painting. And that's what you end up with at the end is all your feelings and emotion comes out. And it makes it unique because... No one's like you and no one's going through what you're going through. We all go through things at different times and different points. And well, in painting, it comes out in your painting. That's what makes painting so unique. And um, painting to me, even a baby's or a child's painting, is unique and priceless because no one else can do exactly that same painting that that child did or that person did because it's unique and you are unique and we're all special in our own ways and so painting is very inspirational and I feel that everyone should take the time out and paint and get the feel and see how their emotions and feelings and ups and downs and joy and pain can can be revealed in something so Unique is so inspiration is so beautiful. And as you see here, I painted the first half with the metallic rose gold. Then I went back with the white paint and painted the other part in. And then you're going to see me go down on the white part of the paint now, adding my light. These are my drippings, like icicle drips flowing of the painting. But then I'm going to come back with the white and go over that. And when I go over those a little bit with the white, that's going to leave me my mark decation or where I'm going to put my glitters, my glues and my glitters to, to put my texture on my painting. And when I did the the... I use Mod Pod for the to put the um, glitter on the metallic rose gold, but for the white area, I didn't use Mod Pod because it leaves with against white. It leaves like a creamy or dingy or yellow stainish looking color behind. So I use the Tacky Clear, Tacky Clear glitter, and that you get a true natural color of the glitter and so that's why i use that have that so you will need some, like a gloss i will use gloss listen you like matte i love use a gloss mod pod so it can keep my glitter shining shiny as much as possible this is my first time painting a big abstract painting picture for my wall and I really enjoyed it, and I re- and it's very relaxing and stress relief. So it inspired me. I'm gonna go out and buy me an easel because painting on a table is not easy. It's kind of difficult. Where you need to be at different angles with with the painting hang- on the easel, you can more easy detail your painting, but. I mean, you could do it on the table, and I did it, and I did another painting also. I will be uh, uploading that footage too. But I'm saying if you really fall in love with painting like I did, you will um, go ahead and get your easel. (laughs) So it inspired me to get an easel. So 
because I'm not going to stop painting. Now that I found me a new hobby or passion, I'm going to stop painting more. Um, my channel is kind of new. I just started this channel. And I don't have many subscribers. So I would really appreciate if you like my work and you like what I'm doing. Will you please support me by subscribing to my channel and sharing my channel with others and liking it? I really appreciate it. I'm a full-time student who will be graduating this spring with my bachelor degree in business organization and leadership. And I... I'm a mother and a wife and a grandmother, so I don't work because I'm a full-time student and I have to take my kids and pick them up from school and take them to college. So if you will please like and subscribe my and share my channel, I really appreciate it. Please support me. And I will be doing giving away a lot of the DIY arts that I'm doing and, and DIY projects that I'm doing. I will be giving them away to my subscribers. So you want to become a part of my channel. You want to become my family, a part of my family. So please just like and stri subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'm not going to talk all the way through the video. I'm kind of going to just let you watch me paint and listen to the music in the background. And if you have any kind of questions, just leave them in the description box below. And I will answer your question. And if you need to know about any and uh, where I got and the price of any of the items that I use in my paintings or on any of my DIY projects, just inbox me and I will get back with you and let you know. And please subscribe. I can't say that enough. I didn't want to be this person that says, please subscribe, please subscribe. But I'm not getting any subscribers. I get, I'm get i receiving people watching my videos, but I'm not getting any subscribers, and I'm not getting any likes or dislikes. So I just hope you can help me by liking and subscribing and sharing my channel. I really appreciate it. And I would like to be the one that inspires someone and helping you do some DIYs are do some DIYs projects for you and give them to you. So just please join my channel. Thank you. And as you see, I'm I'm going back over where I painted it. Um, my whites going back over the other color with the whites now when you see me go back over something like if i painted it white and i'm going over to adding the metallic in it that means that i stopped and let it dry and went back to painting it once it's dry so the the painting does need to dry in between when you changing something or you adding something to another color you do need to stop in between and give it time to dry. Let it dry overnight or let it dry over a few hours and come back and go back to it. That's why it takes a little time with painting. And also, what I did, I am not showing you the whole complete footage of where I put the all the glitters and the glues and glitters on my painting because it takes a lot of time and then you have to let it dry in between and put Mod Pod over the the glitter and let it dry and then add some more and let it dry. So I did not post all that footage but at the very end of it uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I did the glitter with on the um, metallic painting and then I'm going to show you exactly how I did the white icicles that's flooring down 
on the painting. And um, also, one thing I wanted to explain is about when I did like my kind of like the icicles, like it looks 3D. You can actually touch it, and it is kind of it's thick. It's because I did the um, tacky glue first coat, and then I use a brush, and then I put the glitter on, and I let it dry. Then I came back a couple of days later, and I squeezed out some more of the tacky glue. I didn't use a brush. I just squeezed it out. And however it came out and it fell on the icicle looking area, I didn't rub it in. I just left it with that texture and then I just put the two different kind of glitters on it and it gave me this nice texture. And it's all glitter. There's no sand. It, it looks like sand, but it's not sand. It's all glitter. It's paint and all glitters. And it's for painting, for, for um, glitter. And it's all silver, gold, metallic, whites, glitters I use for the texture and glues and Mod Podge. And I enjoy doing it. And I think you would too. And now I was inspired. I was inspired by the Z Gallery. And this painting, I call it the uh, the dawning of the day or uh, dawning of the night. It's like when the sun going down and it's getting dark and you have this like red cast behind it, but on a more like a winter cold night that is snowed where you get the stars come through and... You get the snow and the glistening color from the snow of the, like the icicles falling. That's what I kind of inspired me to do this painting. I thought about those times and that's what inspired me to do what I did to this painting. So... I may be going around the edges. Uh, I did. I went around the edges with the uh, dark gray and gave me a, gave me an edge around the dark gray of the paint. And I got two um, canvas. Two of these canvas came in a pack from Dee Dee's for uh, nine ninety nine. I think it was. I got two, so I did two. I did two paintings, and if you have a DD discount store, check them out because them and Ross they be having really good um, deals on paint, paint brushes. Um, they have the canvas like these two canvas was nine ninety nine in one package. And I think it was 30, I can't remember the size. I think in um, my second footage of my, the other um, painting that I did, it's got the size of the, the one. They're kind of pretty nice size though. They're kind of pretty big, they're not small. And it was nine ninety nine for two. And I know Walmart always have some too, but I think this was a better deal. I think it was cheaper at DD's discount store. But I don't know if everybody have a DD discount store. But if you don't, try Walmart. Uh, try Michaels, and when they got their fifty percent off, and they have they have clearance on um, um, canvas also there because I bought a lot of canvas from them, and I got huge big canvas from them. And um, those pictures are down in my den in my living room, which I'm gonna um, order some old uh, prints and show you how I put those prints on the canvas with decolage paint. Uh, decolage, I decolaged it onto there. So I will be sharing one of those DIYs. I'm not going to talk all the way through this video. 
I'm going to sit back and let you enjoy the painting and enjoy the music that I added to it. see me going back over the rose goals um that I did with the part coming down at kind of into the white painting and I'm going back over it with um the metallic white and this is where my icicles gonna come down where I put my white glitter and it's gonna the reason why I did it with the rose gold because it kind of putting the rose gold in the back of it kind of gave me um the di design features in the back of it so I know exactly where to bring my um icicle looking parts of the painting down into the white and as I showed you that was the metallic white and uh, you're going to see me go over it and over the rose gold that I put the streaks the rose gold streaks coming down and I'm taking the white metallic paint and I'm painting right over those rose gold streaks coming down because like I say that's where I'm putting my glue and put my white um glitter and give me my streaks coming down like onto the into the white painting so it kind of like you draw drawing with paint and then you're going back over and filling in and you'll see why because you'll see how it des designed the texture and gave me the look to the painting so that's what i wanted to come in and let you know that i was doing at this point in the painting
the painting all the way with the paints. Now I'm finna come in with the glitters. I already did almost completely the rose gold area with the glitter because, like I said, it takes a long time. Now I am using um, Mod Podge in the rose gold area, and I'm gonna use that um, clear tacky glue where I, I do the icicles with the white and silver. You see the fine silver, then the chunky silver and different kind of texture or glitters I'm using in the painting. Um, see, that's the rose gold foil, foil leafing glitter. And that's the silver one. And I have a gold one that I'm using. And those are going to be, I only use those up in the, um, where I painted the rose metallic paint. And as you can see already, I almost completed that part of the painting up top. But I'm going to go in and see the other part. And on this part, I'm going to show you how I got that effect. And also, I'm going to show you how I did the white to bring it down with the foot. With the um, white, fine, and medium texture glitter. I got... The rose golds and the gold and the silver foil leaf paint uh, glitter from Amazon. And then I got the fine white glitter and the medium chaser glitter from Amazon. And I got the tacky glue from Amazon, which you also can get it from Walmart. And um, my other glitters, the different the bigger texture glitter i got that from michael's for a while back and then i got the a bigger thing of the fine silver glitter from um walmart um so walmart amazon and michael's is the different places that you can get glitter uh, i know you can get glitter and a lot of stuff from hobby lobby but there's no hobby lobby really close to me i would really have to drive to get to hobby lobby which I would love it was if it was one close by me, but it's not. So I just utilize the places that are really close to me or Amazon because it delivers straight to me. And here you see me put in a Mod Pod. I'm using a lot of the Mod Pod to make sure that I my glitter sticks really well in the rose gold area. So I'm using a lot. And as you're going to see, because it's a lot of different. I use fine, medium, and um, the four leaf, leafing in the rose gold area. So I needed a lot of Mod Pod to hold it down. And when that part dried, I also went back over it with the, I'm using a gloss Mod Pod. I went back over that with the, uh, um, Mod Pod for to seal it in, and then I have this Mod Pod spray sealant that you can get also from Michaels. I sprayed the painting with that also to make sure that no drippings of the glitter comes out because it's all sealed in. And that, as you see, see how the leafing look? It sticks in your hand and it, you you can't breathe over it or uh, have wind blowing because it'll fly everywhere. When I say fly, it flies. It's very light. But it's very interesting. And I like the way it comes out when you're using it in, in, in your painting because it gives you like a, some little different textures and stands out in the painting, as you can see here. But the Mod Podge kind of like tone it down. So it looks like it, you went in with different little paints like a, and added more texture into the paint. But it's not. It's the foils, the different textures that it gives. And I'm going to let you just finish washing this. And if you have any, like I said, if you have any um, questions, just inbox me. 
and let me know how you like it okay keep, just keep watching thanks
start use I use the um, clear tacky glue for the white part as you see I'm squeezing it on the painting and I brush the first coat down into the painting and then I put the white the two different textures, the fine and the medium gray glitter in it. And then I let it dry. And then I went back. As you see, I'm going back now. I'm squeezing out different rows of the glue. And on the second layer of it, I'm not going to use the brush on it. I'm just going to leave it as it falls on the paint. And is going to give it a texture look and like a 3d texture look and i'm gonna just put the glitter on top of it and let it dry and then i'm gonna seal it in with the spray so i just wanted to come back in and explain to you what i was doing with the that's the clear tacky glue that is really good for when you putting glitter on white paint because it doesn't leave a, a, a beigey color look behind like the Mod Pod would.
this is the end of my painting. If you like it, please like and subscribe.